everyone it's Wednesday and I'm starting up another vlog um, last couple of days have been rough around here Papa hasn't been feeling well um, he's doing better today I'm still dealing with that diverticulitis or whatever it is on antibiotics and yesterday I was having a lot of pain it was a gross gloomy awful day yesterday had a lot of little sales so it was just a lot of stress going on but Sun is out today. Papa's feeling better. He has his tractor out and he's mulching leaves. I went out and I reorganized the garage, which I meant to do this summer when it was nice and warm, but you know how that happens. But anyway, so, um, and I have some nice eBay sales to start today. Did sell a piece of LuLaRoe. That's up in my office. I finally got all of the rest of the LuLaRoe listed that I had gotten from that consultant. So that is all up and that means now I can now switch over and focus on the hard goods that I got last Saturday. Um, so here are the sales so far today. Uh, this is a Maurice's sweater. It sold for $18.74, free shipping. These three wood bowls, they are the um, monkey pod wood, sold for $37.49, buyer paid shipping. And then this little candlestick, which I almost just tossed in the Goodwill bin, Royal Copenhagen. Thank goodness I looked it up on replacements.com. Sold for $37.49 um, and the buyer paid shipping on top of that. So yay, look every piece up. <laughs> That's the lesson. And I've talked before that I usually match or underprice a little on replacements.com and then I do sales. So yay, nice sales to start the day. Charlie. Oh, you're so tired. You got your cubs blankie. Is that so cuddly and warm? Yeah. Aw, you gonna go back to sleep? <laughs> he loves that Cubs blanket. Yeah. Right, Lulu? It's nice and soft. Yes. Lucy, or Charlie. Charlie or Lucy or something. Charlie, Lucy, Chucky. Chucky, Chucky Cheese. Chucky, Chucky, Charlie. Chucky, Chucky Cheese. Aw, look at the face. Hi. So it's after dinner now on Wednesday still. I just sold another one of these little Santa Clauses. $7.49, buyer paid shipping. Um, I did get a bunch of photos done today and I'm currently editing them and then creating drafts. That's, I can do that on my phone. And then they're all loaded up so that when I have time at night and the house is quiet, I can go into my office and I can get those listed uh, straight from my computer. Okay guys, it is now Thursday. Um, we had a busy morning, went out and did errands, had to go to the recycling center. Even though we get pickup, recycle pickup, we only get it once a month and I just have way too much recycling. So went to the recycling center, then since we were going to be out and about, I just took the packages to the post office, then I went to the consignment store, dropped a bag off, cashed out, then I had to go to the bank to cash my check because I had over $200 in my account, so that was awesome, uh, then took Papa to Burger King, and now we are home and I have three eBay orders to start the day. First is this little Doc McStuffins pillow pet, little tiny one, $7.49 free shipping, uh, this is a fresh produce shirt. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. And then this is a um, an Old Navy denim jacket with the lining. It's a, a 2XL. And it sold for $19.24 with the buyer paying the shipping. The doggies got their Bark Box today. I'll link Bark Box below if you're interested in learning more. It's a um, monthly subscription box for dogs. And... You can see it's the take a fall outing to the Pup State Orchards. <laughs> so everything in here is harvest related. We have these turkey and cranberry dog treats. Perfect because they're the little ones. I can give them for treats. Um, this is jerky sticks. Another good one. Charlie can scarf down a, a long lasting chew in about 30 seconds, but it takes Lucy a lot longer. One of these um, elk chews. Then these super cute plush boots, awesome. And then this little hedgehog, oh my gosh, Charlie loves these. He loves, loves, loves toys. So Dougie's will be very happy with this box. Again, I'll link Bark Box below. Uh, if you wanna go and learn more about uh, their subscription offerings, you can also order single products online through them. I do that a lot because I like that everything they sell is, you know, made in America. It's the better for you, you know, or better for them. Treats for dogs and the nice toys. So usually at Christmas, I'll just go on and order all their Christmas presents right from 
uh, bark box online just had another little sale come in this is a polaroid flash gun um, bulb i got it at a fill -a bag sale it sold for nine dollars and 74 cents but i had free shipping on it because i just want to get rid of it i know i've talked to you guys before about that i'm not picking up vintage camera stuff anymore it used to sell a lot better for me but it just hasn't been and it's just one less big bulky thing to mess with at estate sales so fine with me i will just move on to other things that sell better and just trying to get the last of my camera uh stuff out of here Whew, i'm beat my dad and i were just outside cleaning out the eve spouts both of us took turns getting up on the ladder so that was fun then he went inside and then i have been um placing the blow molds the christmas outdoor christmas figures that light up blow molds uh, still had the Halloween stakes left up from the Halloween blow molds. So I put the five blow molds on those. And then I had to dig five more for the others that I have. So that was fun. But needed to do it before it got too cold and the ground froze up. So anyway, two more sales, two more pieces of Fontanini, $7.49 each. Buyer page shipping. Almost to the end of my little stash here. So... I knew once people started getting their villages out, they'd come along, fill in the pieces. So almost out of my fontanine. It is now Thursday night, and I just had three more eBay sales come in. One is a LuLaRoe skirt. Those are up in my office. A little beanie baby sold for $7.49. Free shipping. And then a little Banana Republic top, $12.74. Free shipping. So today has been a lot of smalls, a lot of little things that have been hanging around for a long time that I am happy to see go. Um, so not a huge profit, you know, on most of the stuff today. I think everything so far other than, let's see, I did denim jacket and then the Fontanini, uh, the buyer's paid shipping. Everything else has been free shipping. So not big profits, but again, this stuff is moving out of here. It's generating sales. It's, um, you know, it's something is better than nothing, I believe, when you don't have an alternative like for me I can't take plush to the consignment store they don't accept plush um, so if I were thinking well I could probably get a good deal on these on consignment but they don't take them um, you know this is like a little summer shirt this isn't really the season so I always say you know 10 bucks is milk and bananas for the week so I'll take 10 bucks um, when I can get it. Of course, they love the big sales. That's great. But sometimes it's better to get something, um, keep your store and your listings active and get some money in your pocket because I bought these things with the intent to resell them to make money. So I can't complain if I only end up with a few bucks versus, you know, 10, 20. I mean, I never thought I was going to get 20 bucks for this. So got to deal with my choices and get the money where I can. Hey guys, I was just getting ready to wrap up this vlog when I wanted to say a couple things. Rants are coming. Rants are coming. So buckle up. If you don't like rants, check out now. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup. I was just took everything off, getting ready to take a shower. So there's that. Okay. So I just put a thing on Instagram um, that says, and it's like a meme of Dwight from the office. I only deal in facts. This comes up a lot on Instagram, but it also I've seen on YouTube. And ever since I started selling on eBay, and that's all like the rumors and the I heard this and I heard that and so-and-so said this and so-and-so said that. And people just running off of pure speculation on everything. The first time I went on the eBay message boards in 2005, it was eBay's dead, eBay's dying, it's not going to last. People, buyers are out to scam sellers, sellers are out to scam buyers. eBay doesn't protect buyers, eBay doesn't protect sellers. If you put a fragile sticker on a box, the post office runs over it because I work with a guy whose brother's neighbor's cousin's best friend heard from somebody else that it happened. And it's like, it just, all of the speculation and people who put everything into, I heard so-and-so say, it just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Not, I mean, about anything, but specifically about eBay in this instance, as I'm talking about, it just drives me bonkers. I've been selling on eBay. This is you're 13. If it hasn't happened to me and I haven't seen it in my own eyes, I don't believe it. I don't, first of all, I don't go on the eBay message boards anymore. That's just when I started. I'm not in all the Facebook groups. I'm not watching a ton of videos. I'm not involved in all this chitter chatter that goes along. Is chitter chatter or chit chat? I like chitter chatter better. Of all of these reasons not to do something. Well, I heard eBay's real scammy, so I'm not going to sell on it. Or, 
Or even if I says, well, I heard, you know, Poshmark's terrible. I'm not going to sell there. I heard Etsy or Amazon or it's all, I'm not going to do it. People who say that are never going to succeed in if what they're thinking they're going to do is start a business. You know, people want to start an eBay business or start an Amazon business. But, 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 but. It's all of these blah, 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 buts. But this happened, that happened. I heard this, I heard that. And it's just excuses. Thing that is, I should just be able to turn it off because those people are never going to do anything, right? It, it, I don't care. If you're not going to do it, you're not going to do it. That's that's your thing. But the fact is that it like clogs up my feed and people like post it on my stuff and uh, it just drives me bonkers. Like I posted a picture of a box that got, the buyer had sent me a picture of a box that got damaged. Um, like the corner was all, it looked like something chewed it to be honest with you. And um, fortunately, the contents inside were fine. And of course, all the, oh, well, I heard the post office runs over your box if there's a fragile sticker on it. And I heard, and there was a study, and there was an article, and <sighs> I just cannot stand mindless speculation. And I know people are going to start posting, well, I know, I somebody at the post office told me. And that's another thing you hear, like, the post, my postal carrier said this, or somebody at the post office said that, or there was a woman in, in the parking lot at the post office who said this. Oh, that's the other thing I get a lot of. Well, my Goodwill doesn't have sales because I met some lady there and she said they never have sales. And I went to my Goodwill once and they just don't have anything. So I've never been back. Again, it doesn't affect me in terms of like, it's not affecting me directly, but the, all these comments like look, fog up my feed, flog up, log up, clog up. They clog up my feed. And it just drives me bonkers. I deal in facts, period. If I haven't seen it, hasn't happened to me, I'm not caring about it in terms of eBay. So there's that. So I just had to rant. Here's the other rant. And this has happened on YouTube. It's happened on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, it's free and easy to sign up. You should go over there and sign up. I post photos and I do the little Insta stories. My Instagrams are below. I have two main account and then I have my eBay store account. Oh, there's the other question. What's your eBay store? I don't link my eBay store here because there's a bunch of trolls. But I do have an Instagram account for my eBay store. It is linked below. Although I'm... Annoyed with that too because this is what happens. People find out my store and they just go and they look at it. Which look, I, I get it. You want to see it, you want to look at it. But the problem is, is that when people are looking at your store and they don't buy anything, then eBay counts your um, sell through rate as super low. And I've noticed in the past month my sell through rate has plummeted, but my traffic to my listings has increased because people have found my store and they're just going there and they're looking at it. So my statistics now suck. Just because people are, I'm sorry, you're kind of nosy if you just want to go on my store and look at my stuff. And also don't message me through eBay. Please don't message me through eBay. That's another one. Again, I'm talking to the 0.001% of people who do this kind of stuff. Not the 99.99% of you who are awesome and get it. But I just have to vent. What was my other vent going to be about? I totally had another vent. I have my fidget spinner lip balm. What was my other vent about? Oh, this was it. This was my original second vent, then I got sidetracked. Okay, when I am showing clothing specifically, and I get the comments, you need better brands, you need to go to the department store and look around stuff, you need to go at Nordstrom's and look at stuff, you need to do this, you need to do that, you should do this, you should do that, which annoys me in any capacity. I cannot stand being told what to do. Unless I ask for your opinion, I don't need it, thank you very much. But, for those who may be new and look at my clothing specific sales and say, you need five bear brands. I live in the middle of Iowa. I live in a working class area. We do not have big fancy department stores here. There are no Nordstrom's in Iowa. We have Dillard's, but the Dillard's in my town is a lot lower end than the Dillard's you'll find in other places. And we have Yonkers, Von Mauer, and Sears. Those are the department stores. I'm not stupid when I go to the first store and I'm looking through all these brands and passing up all this stuff I don't know to get to a Maurice's or Land's End. I'm passing up White Stag from Walmart. I'm passing up, you know, who's that chick at Kmart? Jacqueline Smith from Kmart. I'm going through 20, 30 of those pieces along with Kohl's to get to a Maurice's or a Land's End. 
Phil's comments irk me because, again, I don't like being told what to do. And the other thing is it assumes I'm stupid. Like, I must be so dumb that I don't know to look things up if I don't know what they are. I had somebody on Instagram put a big, long thing about how I need to go to a bigger city like Iowa City or Cedar Rapids and source there because that's near the university. Hey, guess what? There's a university in my town, a state university. There's also a community college. There's also several um, private colleges super close by. People with quote unquote money, young kids who quote unquote spend money on trendy stuff. We still don't have it here because it's the middle of Iowa. And I know people who are in the um, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City area um, who aren't finding it either because again, it's Iowa. Most people who go to the University of Iowa, if they're from Iowa, they come from farms. And I'm not being derogatory about that. It's just the truth. So that just drives me nuts. Telling me what I should do, what I should not do. It just drives me nuts. Yeah, I just hate the phrases, you should, and why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? You should do this, you should do that. You need to do this, you need to do that. Makes me go crazy with my fidget spinner. <laughs> this is very therapeutic, by the way. Oh, can you put, it? oh, I've seen people, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so I got those rants out of the way. I apologize to those of you who get it and agree, but, you know, feel like I was ranting at you. I'm not ranting at you. I just, oh, social media is so draining. It's so draining. There, this past week, I was like, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. I don't want to be on social media anymore. I'll shut everything down. Because it just, all of the noise coming at you, all of the unsolicited opinions and advice, it just really gets to me some days. And look, I'm not, this isn't a new complaint. Everybody who makes YouTube videos has said it at one time or another. And it frustrates me because I want to go in the comments and read them and reply to them. And it'll just be those one or two comments that just, it's like my trigger, you know? I'm like, I'm not going to read anybody's comments. And I just, I don't know how to get over that. You know, what do they say? In the history of telling someone to calm down, no one's ever calmed down. Like, I try to tell myself, calm down, don't let it get to you, let go. But it's just my trigger, being told what to do, being given unsolicited advice. In the realm of kind of talking to me like I'm stupid and I don't know, you know, what I'm doing. Because I think when it comes to eBay, I'm always learning. Absolutely. But in general, I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to eBay. I kind of know what I'm doing. Always learning about new items and brands and styles. That's great. But the general gist is that I know what I'm doing on eBay. Okay. That is the end of the rant. I actually feel better. So if you've listened thus far, well, actually, if, even if you didn't listen, because I was still talking. So even if you didn't hear it, it still existed. I still ranted. I feel better. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to do manicure pedicure night because my nails have not had anything for a while and I feel gross. As I sit here with no makeup, it'd make shine on my head. My forehead is huge. Do you have a bigger forehead than me? I doubt it. Let's measure. What do we got here? What do we got here? That's a four inch forehead. That seems excessively long. A four inch forehead. And no, I'm not cutting bangs because I can't have, I can't stand hair touching my face, which is why I always wear my hair up. That's another one. I want to see your hair down. No, I can't see my hair down. It's in a ponytail. This isn't some hair porn channel, people. I'm not fluffing my hair all over, although maybe that would get more views because YouTube's a mess. I guess you got to do the clickbait. Clickbait, get all the views. Anyway, I've lost my mind now, so I'm going to turn off this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Comment, question below, unless you're giving me unsolicited advice, then shove it. Subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Hit the little bell. I guess that's important now. I don't know what YouTube's doing. I'm just chugging along. So anyway, with that, thank you all for watching and for listening to my rant if you've made it this far. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.